Faster! In a real fight, you'd be dead already. Sir. Ah, Henry. Carry on. Well, lad, have you made any progress with the investigation? Yes, sir. I think I have at last. So you've found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. God's blood. It's true the darkest shade is beneath the candlestick. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki, and he's from here in Talmberg. That's it? You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. But what if he's dead too? I think we'd already know if he was. These fellows are not given to subtlety. Hmm. True enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merhoyed. You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you. But remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? I'll try not to, sir. And I'm looking for a fellow they call Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I might find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. Why do they call Hinnick Riki, anyway? He's a Tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll see for yourself. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough, but not every courier is given that name. Well, I'd say it might have something to do with his reputation, too. 
You know this Hinnick? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Much of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Tanners have never been the most sought-after companions. And what's more, he keeps the company of all kinds of knaves. In short, he doesn't have the best reputation. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Neuhoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. A bit more than high spirits, huh? Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. <laughs>